You're not with my caravan, so don't bother me. I cleared the training yard of ferals. Finally, someone that can get things done. Here's your pay. You know, Kessler's been looking for someone competent. If you're looking for more work, talk with her. Before you go, though, I was hoping you could spend some of that reward here Doesn't with change, little old me. To look over your shoulder. Don't need anything today. You'll be back. I found your grandpa. Not much left except his hat. Grandpa Savoldi. Damn. People on the hill don't think kindly about the Minutemen. Say they didn't help when we needed them. My grandpa was a hero. And I won't hear anything different. He died fighting for the Commonwealth. He's a hero in anyone's book. Wish more people looked at it that way. You know? I heard about you. Building the Minutemen back up? Good luck getting Kessler to give a damn. But... You keep that hat. My grandfather would have wanted it to be put to use, instead of hanging on the wall of some shitty bar. Looks like we got another freak just won't fit anywhere else. Daisy. McGrady, I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> You haven't been avoiding me, have you? No. How could I stay away from someone as cute as you, Daisy? Uh, you're a lousy liar. But I'll just play stupid and pretend I don't know that. So, what do you need? I got it, Daisy. I found the cure to Duncan's disease. Oh my god. That's wonderful news. How'd you do it? Last time you tried, the ferals almost chewed you to bits. I didn't do it alone. The friend here got me through medtech. Now, all I need to do is to get the cure into Duncan's hands. Can you help me? Of course, McCready. You've saved my behind more than once. It's the least I can do. It's okay. You can trust me. I swear I'll get the cure to Duncan. If McCready trusts you, that's good enough for me. I appreciate that. He's actually not so bad. Once you get to know him. I'll get the sample on the first caravan leaving the Commonwealth. The driver owes me a few favors. And he's reliable. It will arrive at your homestead in no time, McCready. Thanks. You're a doll. Hey, do me a favor. Take care of McCready for me. He's one of the good ones. If you're looking for another safe haven, Captain Kells? Hold up, Knight. Let me make one thing clear. As a member of the Brotherhood, you serve under my command. If you want my respect, you will have to earn it. When I give you a mission, I expect results. Is that clear? Perfectly. Good. Paladin Dance has already briefed me on your search for the missing recon team. I want that resolved. Do you have anything to report? I've completed my investigation into the missing recon team. Paladin Brandis was the only survivor. Brandis? What happened to him? I convinced him to return to the Brotherhood. Well done. It may be difficult for him to adjust to life in the Brotherhood again, but his experience should serve us well. Very well. Is there anything else? Do you want their holotapes? Thank you. I'll see that they make it to their next of kin. What should I do with their tags? I'll accept them. The Brotherhood will remember their sacrifice. How will the Brotherhood remember them? They faced their mission with courage. They fought with honor against overwhelming odds. They lived and died together as brothers. That is what it means to be a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. That's all. I'll prepare a full report for the Elder. In the meantime, allow me to offer you a new suit of armor. Bear it with distinction. This was no easy mission, Knight. Well done. Now, I have a more pressing matter that requires your attention. 
I've received reports that supplies have been disappearing from our supply depot at the airport. I suspect this may be an inside job. If so, that's a serious security risk. That's what worries me. If there is a traitor, our entire operation here could be in jeopardy. I want you to take charge of this investigation. Report to Knight Sergeant Gavel at the base. He commands our logistics division. He can familiarize you with his unit and the depot. Beyond that, you have leave to conduct your investigation as you see fit. Report your findings directly to me. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I expect results. See that I get them. Dismissed. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today we are going to start making our way to the Parsons Insane Asylum. So without further ado, let's get started. We want to be careful. We are going to be traveling through some very, I wouldn't say very difficult, but it is difficult um, areas. Speaking of difficult. Can't fucking see them. We might have to go into our pit boy a few times. These guys are tough. God, they're hiding in the bushes. Nope. That was close. We may die. It would help if they weren't in the bushes. <sighs> the mechanist robots are, in my opinion, way tougher than regular robots. We're going to be making our way over there by the end of the video. That is actually the Parsons Insane Asylum. Or Parson? Not Parsons. I don't know. It's one or the other. So, on our left side, we're going to come up to... A section where there are some super mutants. You're going to want to be careful again. Unless you want to uh, come over here and clear it out. I believe if you clear it out, the slog um, will become a settlement. But again, that's random. Uh, to get some of those settlements, they'll say, hey, clear out this spot. And it's just kind of a ram random spot to clear out. Ram him. What, what the fuck kind of... Word is that? <laughs> words, Mr. Wayne, words. Is that someone who needs me to kick their ass? Since Got the Lieutenant Gutsy. We're still in danger, so I'm guessing the super mutants did see us. 
Running into vehicles. Try not to mess with them. Not really worried about the super mutants, if I'm being honest. There we go. My god, is it everything an attack? Me day or something? What is going on? I'd rather use my vats on the fucking bloat flies than the super mutant. Is there any more? Hopefully not. Let's continue on. Hopefully without further disruptions here. We still got a lot to do. Oh, good lord. We're just gonna wait here. A parade of robots is going by. What's that saying? Over my dead body? Uh, let's leave those super mutants alone, too. Hopefully they'll fight the guys in the, uh, Saugus Ironworks, which we're going to next. Oh, they are, too. Awesome. Awesome possum. Oh, my God. No, they're not. Really? Really? What's that saying? What can go wrong will go wrong? <laughs> Might as well just blow that up. Dog meat's gonna stand by it. Poor dog meat. Are we done? Are we done? Let's go into the slog. Good to see you. We're gonna talk hey, to Arlen Glass. Hello. Um Hello. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got caught up in my work again. So, what do you think? Nice, isn't she? Yeah, it's nice. Really nice. You've got an eye for them too, huh? It's a genuine get-a-up buttercup. The 2076 Special Edition. Best toy on the market before the war. It's a shame, though. I don't have all the parts to get this old girl working again. Don't suppose you happen to have a spare crate of toy parts on you? Not with me, but I know where you can find some. The old Automatoys building downtown. Of course! The old stock room! Well... Well, that changes everything. I'm sure I can salvage the parts I need from there, and more besides. Here, take something for the trouble. It's not much, but you deserve it. I have to finish up a few things around here, but after that, well, I know where I'm going next. 
Hey there. Anything I can do for you? I think I have something that belongs to you. A uh, holotape? Let's see now. Go ahead. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Welcome to... When Marley? are you coming home? Oh, God. Now you work too much. I want you to read to me again. Mommy uh, says you're helping all the horses find good homes. Take care of them, okay? I have... I love you. And you... Oh, <laughs> Buttercup says she loves you, too. Me miss you. Come home soon. Oh, Marlene. I, uh... I... Give me a minute. <clears throat> it's been so long. I never thought I'd hear their voices again. You can't imagine what this means to me. What now? I... I can't possibly repay you for this. Here, take. Take everything I have. It's not much, but... And one more thing. I was saving this for her birthday. All these years, it was all I had to remember her by. Please, I want you to have it. <sighs> Let's go to Saugus Ironworks now. We're going to have to uh, fight some raiders. They can be difficult, but... We should be all right. The only thing difficult about these raiders is when they have a flamer. I'm not sure if the robots... Nope. Not gonna bother, uh... Oh, there's one. Not gonna bother sneaking. That way we can get the majority of them killed. And the rest are up top, so they're not important. Uh, maybe the rest are up top. Hold on. Really? There's another guy over here somewhere. Come on, bastard. Get your ass over here. There we go. Now we can go in to uh, Saugus Ironworks. Think you can hide? Come on, dog meat. Get out my way, boy. That person was stupid. They were right in front of me. When you turn up, you're dead. We'll just keep following around here. Right here is a tension trap. If you want to go in here, you can loot a gun. <gasps> That's mounted. Son of a bitch. I was in the middle of talking to people. Hack that terminal to open up that door if you'd like. That guy's already dead because, well, we killed him just now. He snuck up behind us. This is not a very sneaky episode. But that's okay because we're going to get the sneak bobblehead. Hopefully. Hopefully. 
No sign of him now. And there should be one more raider in here. I think they're down here somewhere. Pretty sure they're down here. Yeah. Whoa. Don't do that. And then we have that. Now we can stand up and we're good. tries to leave, kill him. You must be pretty strong to make it here. Oh, were those your guys? I thought they were just trying to throw me a barbecue. Huh? Like your style, stranger. Been a while since anyone had the guts to talk to me like that. See, Jake? Here's someone who might actually be worth my time. Unlike you. They're but, gonna kill me. But I brought everything you asked for. Stealing things from your family farm doesn't prove your strength, boy. Though this wonderful sword you brought does put me in the mood to give you one last chance to prove your worth. What do you say? Kill that prisoner and prove that you aren't completely useless. You said we'd be raiding outside the Commonwealth. These people aren't even a threat to us. Prove to me that you can kill! It's him or you. Oh god, what do I do? What do I do? Walk away, Jake. You don't have to do this. Please, let me go. What's You're it right. gonna be, Jake? I don't want to do this. I don't want to join the Forged. I just want to go home. Last chance, Jake. Get a headshot. God, I hate the forged with those fucking flamers. Wasn't there one more? No? I, I think Jake killed her. Let's loot Slag's body. We want to grab the shish kebab now. We're going to pick up our last Picket Fences Bingo. magazine. We'll loot this as well. This is a pretty cool bobblehead. This will yes. give us 15% uh, extra damage with our explosives. Pretty sweet. Come on, dog meat. What the hell are you doing, bud? And then right here, it is important that we get the dampening rod. That is for the uh, quest where we were trying to help the Chinese officer. Hey there. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I, I messed up. I panicked. You're lucky I have a soft spot for dumb animals. I, uh, yeah, I, I messed up pretty bad. I, I'm sorry. Look, I, I should probably try to go home and make amends. I know I've got no right to ask, but I bet if you're there to explain, things with my dad would go easier. I bet if you bring my great granddad's sword, he, he'll make it worth your while. He always tries to deal fair with people. I'll wait for you by the overpass near the farm. Excuse me. Thanks a lot. Thank you. No, oh, I hate when people go through doors. Of course. We'll sit here for a minute. <laughs> Let's crouch. I can't be all of them. Usually there's a lot more up here. Let's uh, go over to the corner here. 
And we're going to hop down on this roof. And then we're going to hop down to the ground. Take this makeshift path, I guess. Probably more of a game trail than anything. Right over there is Finch's farm. We'll go talk to Jake. By the way, the guy running in front of us, I think, is Jake's brother. Not sure. Or maybe it was that guy that we set free. Hi. I'm so nervous. I, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Here goes nothing. I told you this. Abraham, I what's your going face on? Here again, I... Is that my boy come home? What? Jake's back? Oh, thank God. Papa, please. I, I know I screwed up pretty big. I, I thought if I joined up, I could keep them from raiding our farm. I didn't. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't care what you thought. I told you. Abraham Francis Finch, that's enough. Mama, it... Shut up, Jake. If I hear anything out of either of you, you'll both be peeling potatoes for the next year. I've watched you two go at it for years and tried to let you sort it out for yourselves. Abraham, your son is a grown man. And if you expect him to act like one, then you'd better stop treating him like a child. Jake, your father and I have been out there, and we know it can be dangerous. We just want to make sure you're prepared. There, it's over. And if I hear another word about it from either of you, so help me. Let's go talk to Jake's dad. <clears throat> She's right. I've been a fool. There's no way I can thank you enough. Here's the caps we agreed on. Plus a bit for helping my boy. I think you should hang on to that sword. It'd put a smile on granddad's face to know it was being used to help people. Now let's go over here. We want to swim across this river or inlet. You can kind of make out a building, kind of tucked away. That's where we're heading. This is just to get a special weapon. Over on the wall, you can see the code, except for zero is not the real um, number that you need for the first part. It's actually 10, so we'll go to 10. And then we'll go to 4. And then 5. And last one here we're gonna get the gainer pretty sweet gun there we go. pretty powerful if you're a pistol build that is if you're not then it's probably not for you Let's crouch again. Over here we see some guys working on a sentry bot. We can throw a few grenades right over here. Boom. I don't know if this is a scripted event or just random, but it seems like it always happens to me right here that there is a few rust devils trying to work on a sentry bot or hack into it to make it theirs. We're going to
We're going to head up this way and make our way towards the big pylon you can see sticking up. Might be a little hard to make out, but it's in between the two trees here. See it right there. That's where we're heading. This is going to be Dunwich Boars. By the way, for those of you that are a big Lovecraft fan, this is kind of a... If it's been sealed up since the Great War, there's no telling what might be inside. Oh, random event. Let's step back from that. He's about to blow that shit up. Um, I'm not going to bother with that random event. But, like I was saying, if you're into Lovecraft, the Dunwich uh, Boars is kind of a... I don't know how to put it. Like, it's not really the same story, but it's just kind of like a love letter to the Dunwich Whores. Um, and maybe people in Bethesda or somebody in Bethesda really likes Lovecraft. Um, if you've never read The Dunwich Whores, by the way, do yourself a favor and read it. It's it's a really good read. It's not that long at all. We're going to put some Rad-X on, by the way. It's definitely that cosmic whore. I think they have audiobooks on it, too, as well. I'm sure they do. They have audiobooks on everything. Be careful. I mean... It's highly irradiated over here. We're going to loot this guy. Hazmat suit. And then we're going to do this Mr. Handy. And then we'll listen to Hugo's struggle. Guys don't bother me anymore. That's good. I think it's... What was that? Can't they read the signs? I think it's time I go back inside the quarry. It's been too long. No, I can't. The guys would never let me in. I could kill them all. No. No, that, would, that wouldn't be what it would want. It's time to lay down. Yes, of course. It's next to my bed. I will. It's loaded. Poor guy. Actually, poor Arlen. That is a sad story. Arlen Glass's story? Man. So this part right here isn't hard, but there are a ton of enemies. I suggest taking out the turrets first and then working your way Someone's to the rest of um, the raiders. Oh, I know you're here. Up here, there's the other. There's three turrets in all, and you want to get rid of those just because they're a nuisance. Only a fucking coward hides. Got one of them. There's a lot of them too. And I should have done this during the day because their headlights suck. They really blind you, which I guess is good game mechanics because I mean it's supposed to blind you to kind of protect them. Kind of like armor without having armor. At least that's the way I feel about it. There's a guy up top there, but I'm not going to bother with him. And never mind, I guess I will. No 
I was going to say I'm not going to bother with him unless he um, comes down, but he did. My god, just can you can you guys die? Please. That'd be great. <laughs> We're in danger already. We might as well just stand up. We're trying to be sneaky. They already know where we're at. Disappearing act, huh? Nope. Where'd he go? Motherfucker, where you Come at? Come on, tough guy. Come on. Got him. Now let's go inside the Dunwich Boars. Also, just a quick bit of trivia. Uh, the Dunwich Boars... Um, can be found in Fallout 3 as well, but it's the headquarters instead of the um, quarry. And it has more of a storyline as well. Can't see with the lights. care of that pressure plate grab the grenade and let's continue on might as well heal no sense in not stay topped off we're gonna find a uh, astoundingly awesome tales magazine in here and the sneak bobblehead I am so down with that sneak bobblehead just saying Think you Some bitch die. Some bitch. Son of a bitch. Don't use my word, man. I said it first. Poser. Pop. We're gonna turn on the lights. That way it's easier for everyone to see the magazine that we're going to pick up. Normally I wouldn't care. I'd probably keep these lights off just to be a little more stealthy. But it's also nice for people to know exactly where the magazine is. Oh. Here's the astoundingly awesome tales. We'll loot this chest. Now we get to deal with a ton of ghouls. Definitely a lot. Go ahead and pop around. Legendary. There's a ghoul over here as well. We could have turned on the light back there. Not really a point to it. 
Now we're going to start hallucinating. Oh, I thought I killed him. Eh, missile launcher. Not that big of a deal. Let's turn on the light here. Get these ghouls to wake up. Now, if you're playing on, like, survival or very hard, probably don't want to turn on a bunch of these lights. Sounded like there was a ghoul behind me. Uh, but you probably don't want to turn on a bunch of these lights just to stay sneaky Perfect. and try to take them out where you see them. Ugh, that white light really messes with my eyes every time I come through here oh he's in the water let's put some radix on turn on our pit boy and we're gonna dive down we're gonna dive down until we see a skeleton and then we go through here grab the mini nukes grab this I cannot pronounce the name of this knife's uh, name <laughs> that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's a legendary. It's pretty cool. If you're a melee build, it's a fun melee weapon to use. Instead of going straight, we're going to take a right. This is going to lead us out. But again, we want to take a shot first. And then wait for the ghouls to come down. Oh, come on. Sometimes the AI pathing is <laughs> not the best. Come over here. We can see a legendary ghoul. Nice. There's another one right there. Thought there was one more, but I guess not. Yeah, I'm not going to bother picking that. We're almost done here, everybody. Just a little further. Pretty sure we can stand up at this point. Oh, probably not the best idea. Of course. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's cool to stand up. Fucking three, four ghouls pop up. Loot this radi raider, <laughs> not radiator. <laughs> Open up the door. We can hop down. We need. We don't need to uh, send the elevator down. It's kind of pointless. And then I'll see everybody outside. Let's go up this way. And we're going to take the stairs, but 
by this excavator here. Try not to make everybody dizzy. If I do, I apologize. These stairs are a little winding. We want to come over here to where the interstate is. But we also want to be careful because there's a death claw over here. Sweet. Didn't even get a chance to get near us. We don't need the plastic spoon. Just keep following the broken down interstate. And then it's going to lead us to a road. And that road is going to take us to the Parsons State uh, Asylum? Parsons State Asylum? Insanitar Insanitarium? <laughs> Sanitarium? Fuck, I cannot talk today. Insanitarium. That's a new word. Let's end the video here. I want to start by thanking everybody for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I apologize for the longer video today, but we had a lot to do. And then with all the side quests that I turned in, just kind of made the video a little more lengthier than it needed to be. So now that that's said, I want to thank everybody once again for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe, and like always everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.